name is Medike Rol Kantarji. I'm a Chief Cloud RAN AI ML Data Scientist at Ericsson, and at the same time, I'm a Canada Research Chair and Associate Professor at University of Ottawa. Well, I'm working on AI ML for wireless networks at the moment. So in 5G and 6G, we are trying to embed uh, AI and machine learning to the different use cases in the, that comes along with the improvement of network performance in wireless networks. So in my research, uh, I have students, I have a large lab of 15 students who work on different subjects. They work on AI-enabled resource allocation. They worked on advanced architectures like Aura. It's important because with 5G, uh, wireless networks and connectivity is becoming to be at the heart of the society. With connected vehicles, autonomous vehicles, with rural connectivity, everything being uh, so much reliant on connectivity, uh, we need some smart networks for the management. And at the same time, the cost of networks are increasing. It's the number of people who are using, the number of applications that are using those networks like Metaverse and other type of applications. So all of these things are putting a lot of demand on the future, on 5G as well as future networks. So uh, using machine learning or AI to improve the performance of the networks is helping us a lot to uh, run the networks in a much more efficient way. Uh, I've been told that I have a very unique uh, role uh, or sometimes being the trailblazer, uh, both being a leader in one of the uh, major uh, radio access network vendors like Ericsson being the chief AI ML data scientist and at the same time being a very successful academic and being a Canada research chair and also an associate professor can say that at least 10 individuals, 10 senior people from IEEE Comsoc have been a mentor in a lot of different ways to me. Sometimes people encourage you, hey Mel, you've done great things in academia, so why don't you come and do this in industry for me, like for us? So that like opens up new paths. You always need hand-holding from people and asking help and finding the right people to help has been very, very fundamental for me. That would be the mom. <laughs> she has been always leading me to be a risk taker, a very courageous, very brave person, to be someone who, who's not afraid to jump onto challenges. And then my PhD supervisor. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to share one advice she gave to me. And I think this was very fundamental for me in managing work-life balance after I had my uh, son. She told me, Mal, you will always feel guilty. No matter what you do, how much time you spend with your son, you will always feel guilty because there's no end to it. But just deal with it. Just do your work. He's going to take good example from you and that's going to be enough. So I said, okay, you know, whenever I feel stuck, oh, you know, there's this uh, chores to be done, or is, there's this, uh, there's no stopping to guilt. I think um, it's important that you realize you have a career, your family realizes that, then you balance out things, you spare time for everything uh, and then uh, for the things that you don't do you don't feel guilty <laughs> being curious is very very important and whatever you do of course as a researcher it's very very fundamental to find your own path to find new ideas but uh, also like if, if you are in the industry it's also very important look at every opportunity and leave no stone unturned I think that would be the advice that I give to to my younger self and to younger colleagues. Every time we go to conferences, it's like a big family gathering. So I really like that feeling. You sit around the table, you chat about your research, students and everything. After so many years seeing all of them in conferences in different places around the world, I really feel like I'm connected uh, with Comsoc and it feels like a family to me.